So Seems why should you have, we... a, you have a bit of a biblical bias there? <laughs> yeah. Why should we, should we hate each other and contradict each other? No, we're not saying we should hate each other. In fact, the conversation started with the exact opposite of that. <laughs> exactly, with the loving. And this, yeah. is, this is also I've been but waiting for But people hate guys. because of that. I've been no. waiting for these two for almost. A yeah, but if aliens have created us, that's still somebody that that still begs the question: Who created the aliens? You see, who created the aliens? That was my question, yes. Nature. So you believe in aliens? The, the, That's the, also an the, answer. Um, evolution of nature. Evolu but evolution. Evolution doesn't create. Everything is by evolution. No. What's, what's evolution based upon? We still don't know. That's why we but are... Why are you giving that as an answer then? That's okay. a because I've been born as a baby. That was the option that you gave, but he gave a different option. He said evolution creates everything. I was a baby born. And anything he doesn't know. Evolution goes slowly, slowly, millions and billions of years. Even before us, we so evolution baby. creates things. Yes. No, but evolution is... Process. It's a, no. it's a process. Yeah, it's a mechanism, correct? Well, put it that way, natural mechanism, yeah. Yeah, so mechanisms don't create things. Mechanisms explain things. Evolution is a form of explanation based upon the evidence, based upon the data that we have. It's a theory that's been posited based upon that evidence. There are also other, evi there are also other theories that have been posited that are not in favor of evolution or a different form of evolution. For example, which form of evolution do you accept? Neo-Lamarckian neo evolution? Oh, I don't know much about the types of revolu evolution, but as you see the nature, it's always changing, even the weather and sun in the warm and people and everything. But that's adaptation, that's not evolution. Many things includes in evolution. No, that's not evolution, that's adaptation. And you've got allopatric, sympatric, that's ad adaptation. And we have no issues with adaptation. You can say that when it comes to antibiotics and the likes. However, evolution takes two points into consideration, the tree of life and the natural selection. And both of those require evidence to extrapolate that because you're seeing similarities, therefore you hypothesize that one went into the other. That requires a heavy body of evidence which... So do you necessarily... accept evolution as a transforming of everything? Do you accept or not? Adapt adaptation and evolution, that's why I'm saying. Are you talking about evolution as in the tree of life? Because I don't think we have sufficient evidence for that. It's a working theory. But adaptation, yeah, of course we see this. We see adaptation, like you just mentioned, when it comes to the beauty so and what's the your opinion and stuff then? like that. How we are created? So my opinion is that evolution and Big Bang are mechanisms. However, God is a creator of mechanisms. I don't think the so two God conflict. is creator of everything. God is Nature. the creator. Yes. And who created God? That question doesn't. It's the same. Not necessarily because God is uncreated. You all. You, you it's only like a nature, un, unbeginning, no beginning, no end, no creator. Nature is like that. Which part of nature? Which philosophers say so? Which part of nature doesn't have? We a live in in the nature and universe. No beginning, no end, no, they no don't creator. Say that. Even the, for the I've God. I've studied philosophy. Hold on a second. Uh, even for the God, the same answer. So it means God is nature, nature is God. You can believe in nature or you can believe in God. It's the same. Which philosophy says that nature is unlimited and... Uh, what did you say? Nature is unlimited? And yeah. what was the other thing that you said? Universe. And that is infinite? Yeah. So which philosopher said this? But we don't know so many things we don't know. We know just a little bit. And from here, and yeah, here okay. we don't know. Oh, which philosopher said this? You said this in philosophy. Which I philosophy? don't know which philosopher. It's a philosophical approach. No, but that's not... But well, when you say... God, so when which, philosoph which philosophical approach? I don't know. But when you say God has created everything, and who created God? No, but... Simple. <laughs> Oh, but that's who the God is, that's, that's fallacious like? reasoning. It's in our image, we have... God is uncreated, we are created, we have a beginning, God doesn't have a beginning. So, this is, again, you're making it's a the same like universe. That's the same the universe does have a beginning, We've got, you no. believe in the Big Bang. Could be. Then how, okay, when, what about cosmic background radiation? What about redshift? 
these are all evidences in favor of the Big Bang, and that's why it's not really they evidence. This is stuff that we believe other people exactly. said to us. Yeah. We don't know if it's true. Yeah. It's what exactly cosmic like background space. radiation? It's exactly like space. We don't understand. You, no yeah. one here has been we, to we, space. We have data with regards to cosmic ba cosmic background radiation. When it comes to redshift, they're observable. Mm -hmm. You can observe it using the telescope. Okay, and who who's observing it? Because we have to take their word. Because me and you, we didn't observe it. Well, it's, you get what I'm it's pretty much the. Okay, that's interesting because look, you have a general body of science that agrees and accepts it. And if somebody, if for example, if you're being a skeptic, if you're being a skeptic to the degree that no, I will only accept stuff that I've done myself. Well, that's that's another discussion that we can have, which is viable, and we can explore that option because that's going into the realm of testimony. Here we're talking about empiricism. So he's talking about evolution, he's talking about the Big Bang. So that's talking on the realms of, for example, you took evolution, have you checked evolution? Have you done the experiments yourself? I haven't, but yeah, I have exactly. read biology, I have read Darwin is also kind of a little bit. Yeah, so, it's also but what is the conclusion here? Let me tell you. My conclusion is we, mankind, has our image, if we created everything in our image, whatever no, you're the quoting the Bible. Hold on a sec. <laughs> the science have reached that stage. Above that, we have created all in our image. Meleks and God and devil and everything. It's, it's only image. That's it. That's conclusion. Whether you like to believe, okay, it's fine. It's up to you. Or not to believe, it's again fine. Up to you. So why like should you have, we... a, you have a bit of a biblical bias there. <laughs> Yeah. Why should we, should we hate each other and contradict each other? No, we're not saying we should hate each other. In fact, the conversation started with the exact opposite of that. <laughs> exactly, with the loving. And this, yeah. is, this is also I've been but waiting But people for hate guys. because of that. I've been no. waiting for these two for almost an hour. I was like a good kid. I let three kids, uh, the, three people talk before me, yeah? Because I'm really, really... I, if, I, if at the end of the day I can convince him or him to use their platform to preach love and to explain to the world that everything is a rich man's trick, then I won this date. And this is the best thing I think you've watched my here. videos, because that's exactly what I say. That's exactly what you say. Yeah. You need to watch more of my videos. Bless you, man. Seriously. Yeah, that's why I don't speak against um, religions per se. I don't speak against a collective, um, for example, beliefs. Because, look, somebody will always find solace in Judaism, somebody will always find solace in Christianity, yeah. Islam, Sikhism, and the thing is, that's fine. But when you start saying that, okay, now that person doesn't believe in this, therefore I have a right to kill that person, or I have a right to invade this or that, then that, that becomes an issue. Yeah, that's why so, it gets all ruined. So, so that's why we say, and we'll, we'll, that's why we'll talk about like objective facts, we'll talk about objective things that people can measure. For example, if you were to question me about my scripture, I wouldn't give you a secular argument and tell you, oh, Quran is true because we believe the Quran to be true. I will give you evidences that hopefully will satisfy your curiosity, for example, maybe manuscripts or maybe things that you can kind of get your head around now, or even with regards to hadith or stuff like that, I can satisfy hopefully your curiosity with regards to that. But in terms of forcing and coercing, that's not something that I advocate for. Forcing coercing people to and I 100% accept and believe uh, what you say in terms of power actually lies in the hands of certain people that are after power and after money it's because of a lack of objective morality they are now just trying to line their own pockets and continue their own power and because of that they are not ruling by good principles or godly principles they are manipulating uh, economies Banks, not necessarily. And all of these. No, no, of course they are. Don't blame people, rich okay, people for this. True, true, true story. People. True story. True story. Okay, I'm not give me, give me, give me, give me. rich people. I said. Uh -huh. Don't blame rich people for that. No, no, no. no because they are. They are the one that empower. Not they are all the one of them. Some of them. Everyone. Everyone. It depends yeah. on education they have. You can find rich people who are very educated but even and very, and very even human. They, even if they, they donate the, money. Even if they lack the education, doesn't mean they're not doing what they're doing. But it depends there is on the issue. circumstances. Sometimes you have, but to they do still that. come in the crimes, and they need to be so held to account. Don't blame them. Don't. You don't have to blame them. You blame the. Per you blame by what's apparent. No, no, and no, if no. Don't blame them because they. If somebody, okay, okay. Let me give you an example. A person who was raised by wolves, like metaphorically, yeah. His mom and dad went around, and people were bullying him and killing. For him to go and stab somebody in the park is that okay? Are people going to say don't blame it him? Is, don't put him in prison. It's not okay. He is held by his actions. No, I think it's, it's 
partly you are all right. I agree with that. I'll give you an example. Amazon. I'll give you Amazon, yeah? Amazon, the, the tax that they pay, negligible, less than 1%. An average individual that's working a 95, a middle, you know, a middle class person has to pay like 30%. Bro, they are not designed, the system is not designed to help them uh, own their house to help them become financially free to help them become non-dependent upon the state these are big big issues these are fundamental different uh, issues and we have to because if you don't lay the blame then there's no hope for change if you're constantly making an excuse for such people they're going to take those excuses and carry on going it's when you hold them to account they're like okay something needs to change something needs to be different so you do have to hold them to account indeed one can be just and give context to maybe why they could be thinking like this i agree with you but to give them no consequence whatsoever i think that's the other extreme also as well but you're going to say something um i'm actually i'm kind of like confused about uh, yeah about why you're here <laughs> no it, it depends on the person even poor, poor people can be very dangerous you know who Poor people or middle class people, yeah. they can be also dangerous. Uh, of course. Like rich people. So yes, it yes. depends on personality. Yeah, but but poor people, people don't make the decisions to rule the countries. They don't because command the military. They don't, they don't command the banks. They don't deserve because deserving. they have achieved nothing. Not necessarily. If I'm unemployed, I don't work all the day long and I expect from you to give me something for free. Mother Teresa. Why you expect say that she me? doesn't deserve anything? Ma Malcolm X, you're saying he doesn't deserve anything? Martin Who? Luther Mother King? Teresa. I'm giving you examples of people that were famous that did. Mother Teresa did not do much. No. She just went there and then. Uh, I think she helped. She just saved live, thousands live, of lives and helped them and on donations, increased. You know? That's like saying that what Schindler did she didn't do? do anything. What did she do? Enough. Nothing. Saying that people shouldn't kill each other, help give medicine and stuff like that. All the people around her, they did it. She was just there to kind of, I don't know, say yes or no. Or sign the agreement. And well, I'm not here to <laughs> advocate for Mother Teresa. That was just an example. <laughs> but why did you take a? What about Malcolm X? No, why don't we take examples from Western countries? You see the why? way they live. Why Western countries? I live in the Balkan area, and we also fight each other. And we spend instead of talking like we are talking now, we can. What's go good and, about the West? Hold on, hold on. We can go and collect rubbish or plant something or vegetables for to eat. Now, all the day long over there, where I live, they just fight. They know how to fight, discuss, and get the solution for the whole world. At the end of the day, they live in poverty, have no problem. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why don't we take examples for, for, from England here, the way they do things? What do they do over here that you think we should take examples? Everything is positive here. Everything is LGBT yes. is positive. It is. Gambling is positive. It is. Alcohol is positive. Makes sense. Throwing your parents into old people's home is positive. It Come is on. positive. It Come is. On. Okay, so here's like the, the, the LGBT is a great, is a great things, example, right? Whether you right. like it or not. I'm not gay. Because some people but have I'm more but like, I think it's okay to have sex with whatever you want. Except like animals and kids and, and everything. You know? ah, okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. okay. You can have sex with anything that's over 18 and that's a human being. It Why 18 though? Gender. Why 18? Yes. Um, honestly, don't ask me. If, uh, I, right I think it should be you over 21. 18. I think it should be because that's <laughs> like what the normal society says. But I think it has to be after this 20, is 20, why 24. Why certain normal societies say less than that? Would you be willing to change your number? No. No, and I'll tell you why, because of my own personal experience, I know how stupid I was when I was 16, how much I did not think how testosterone, when it first hits you, you don't control it. You remember yourself as a kid? No. I was angry. I can control my testosterone. It took me years to understand how to control the thing. No. Right? So on the LGB um, thing, it's like... It's so, it's so Surely that's, that's predicated upon the society that you're in, based upon your upbringing, what you're taught, and the way you're taught it. But if you're in a society that it's different, that you can mature quicker. But would you advocate then? Would you advocate for a smaller age? So then, isn't that like, if you are to embrace concepts or principles of love and understanding, then you have to put yourself and empathize in certain societies and certain positions. For example, what if you were born in an Amazon rainforest, Amazon jungle, in which they don't have a concept of childhood, and in which the children are expected to mature quicker and their way of tarbiyah, their upbringing is completely different. So, would you then still enforce your 18 rule upon them? I don't think that would be fair. I don't, if, seeing it, depends, as there's no, it depends if you want to bring them into the modern way of thinking. Why is the modern way of thinking 
the standard? Right now? Because we're modernized. Like we're wearing suits. But, but they're not modernized. Huh? But they're not modernized. And that's why they don't live in the modern society. They live yeah. in the rain but, but, but that's the thing. They live far away from us. Yeah. Uh, no. But it could be that we're far away from them. And we're not traditional. So if we go there, then we have to embrace their ways. Do you see? Yeah. But when we're saying that, no. So it would be something programmed inside of me that would like, that, I, I wouldn't put out myself. Love. You need to love yourself. Oh, you know, this, this is my biggest shit. This is my biggest shit. You're completely right about that. Hey, my man. You are completely, you are completely right about that. This is, this is the most stupidest thing that I can do. your own hands. Who holds your own destruction? So, we're completely right. so where we at? Where we at? Yeah. So, when yeah. well, the other individual came, who's that? Um, so, so first, so he finished his discussion, and then now we're saying that okay, we you wanted to start with LGBT. We spoke about God, and then the person came and then took him off track. So what he says about God is he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Um, and then we jumped onto LGBT after what he was saying. And he's saying that oh, look, love is love, you should be able to do what you want. And there was a slight pause, and then he said, but you can't have sex with kids, uh, you can't have sex with animals. And then he said over 18, then he said over 18, and then I said, and then I said no, no, with uh, anyone. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're over 18, and then I said, why 18? What if Amazon rainforest, have, they have a lower age because they mature quicker. And then he was saying no. What about incest? Ah, well that's where we start. Now. What about incest? Yeah. What about like, for example, a if you're sister? if you're 18, 18, and you're using condoms, yeah. and then you insert into the anal passages of your own brother. Um, that was the way I yeah, description. Like, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so, yeah, that was quite descriptive. Okay. Absolutely. Not nice. Yes. Is that okay? Is that love? Okay. No, because I also don't believe that sex is love. I think that sex. Okay, is but should they be allowed to do that? Is that this is how that's we not love. Intimacy. That, that, that intimacy there. So, so for me, intimacy, honestly. It can also be just spending. I can be intimate with my brothers in a non-sexual way. Okay, so this one is a sexual way. Do you agree with this form of sexual um, love or whatever you want to call it? I want to say no. Why could you say no? On what on, on what ground? On what morality are you saying no to it? Yeah. Because now you now you're limiting yourself. Now you're saying love is love, but now you're saying now it's terms and conditions. It's like you're saying you didn't read the dotted line. Because it's well, my band goes to me every every time. Because it's about sex, and sex is, is in my opinion just pleasure. It's pleasure and procreating. Yeah. yeah so that's right. We don't need to procreate. We don't need to procreate. And if you're talking about a principle that you're gonna dish out to other people, then you surely have to be consistent. Yeah. That has to be uh, something no, that's consistent. Smoke. You can't say me. We're gonna pass this smoke. We're gonna smoke now. You're gonna kill us. Now you don't love yourself, you don't three, love us three hours, yeah. <laughs> You don't love us as well. <laughs> yeah. No, but you're sincere. You I think you need the Quran. Have you read the Quran before? No. But I, but I have one. He gave me uh, that dude from Jordan. He gave oh, me okay. a Quran. Okay. Well, that's good. I think that was, yeah. I mean, that's all I have to say. Yeah, the real thing is like... Are you going? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I need to go as well. It's, it's hey, been a pleasure. If you have the time on YouTube, please watch a video called Everything is a Rich Man's Trick. It's three and a half hours. Wow. It's a Every man is a rich man's trick. Everything is a rich man's trick. <laughs> Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Really appreciate it.